Today we're going to talk about creating a pop-up in One Shopping Cart. Please log into One Shopping Cart. Once inside, go to the Email and Marketing tab and follow the pop-ups link. We're going to create a classic pop-up that will subscribe people to your newsletter list. This pop-up will show up in the foreground. That means it will pop up on top of your web page. We want the pop-up to occur when someone enters the site. You can also have a pop-up occur when someone leaves your page, but for this example, we're going to do a pop-up when someone enters. Let's leave the time delay at zero. That means that it will pop up as soon as the page loads. I'm going to set the width to 700 by 350, and I'm not going to choose to have scroll bars on my window, and I'm going to leave the resizable checked as yes. Okay, so now we have the option of choosing a system hosted form or a file that we've already created. I'm going to choose the system hosted join newsletter form. And I'm going to click next step. You'll see that the system has created the code for you to copy and paste into your web page. Let's head over to Dreamweaver and I'll show you how to do that. Please pause the video if you do not have Dreamweaver open. Okay, I have the index page to our website open in design mode. I'm going to switch to code view and then head back to one shopping cart. The first code I need to insert is the pop-up script code. This has to be inserted just above the close head tag. So I'm going to highlight and copy the script and then switch back to Dreamweaver. I've located the end, the tag that I need to insert the code in front of. So I'll enter a few lines, blank lines, and then paste my code in. Perfect. Back to One Shopping Cart. The next code we need to copy is the script call. This is what actually calls or launches the pop-up script. Without the call, the pop-up window won't load. We need to insert this as part of the body tag. So let's copy the code and head back to Dreamweaver. Now, my body tag already has other elements attached to it, so I'm just going to delete that for the moment. And I'll just add the onload code to the body tag. And then I'll switch back to one shopping cart to grab the last piece of code I need. The last piece of code is needed if you have other links on this page that lead to other pages of your site. If you don't want the pop-up to appear when someone is browsing your site, then be sure to follow the instructions on the page for how this piece of code is to be used. Once you've finished your changes, save the file and upload it to your web server. Clicking over to my browser, this is what the finished product looks like. If you want to modify the look and feel of the form, then you'll need to choose the option to link to a file you've already created. Pop-ups are a great tool that can be used to help increase your opt-ins. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions.